Hello. <laughs> Thanks for joining. How are you, Karen? Good, good. Apologies again for uh, last week. <laughs> the mix up with the times. Mm-hmm. It's all all totally my fault. Um, but yeah, thank, thanks for joining uh, this week. We were just saying I've got a bunch of, uh, we have a bunch of umbral questions that maybe you might be able to help us answer, which would be like amazing. But um, yeah, did, did you want to give us a bit of a background to yourself? Uh, Jair, is it? Is that how I pronounce your name? Yes, you can Jair. Jair? Oh, sorry. Jair. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, so, yeah, so I'm a... Uh, quick background about me. I'm a network engineer. I work in a, in a company based in San Francisco. It's called, it's a, it's, it, it competes with Akamai, with Amazon Cloudflare, uh, uh, Amazon CloudFront, and also Cloudflare. It's All right. A, 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 on, the, on the content delivery network. And so, because of my, my background is networking. Uh, I I learned about Bitcoin in 2019, and I oh. right away heard about a Lightning Network. And when they say Lightning Network, I was like, maybe similar to what I do about networking. <laughs> and, <laughs> very cool. And it actually did. It actually was very similar to the skills I I learned from networking. It really helped me on 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 the network on the Lightning Network. So and. Um, pre- Previously to network engineer, I was working with uh, Linux uh, as a system administrator. So I have the experience with Linux as well. And and as you mentioned in one of your videos, uh, that Umbrella is one of the first projects that allow you to install their code in, in in a x86 system. It doesn't have to be just ARM or a Raspberry Pi only. So that's what I did just for testing, just to, to test. So I set up a, a computer with, with Linux, with Ubuntu 2004 LTS. And then I installed Docker. I installed Docker Compose. And Umbrel runs on that. It's, it's basically a stack of a Docker Compose a stack of containers from Docker, and they all run together. And that's how the Umbrella stack runs. And one of the containers is the LND container and also the Bitcoin D container plus other other containers, elect, elect TRS and, and some other ones. Uh, and then uh, I, I uh, after that, I, I learned how to, how to use the send the funds you know, like from to the, the Umbrella has two wallets. Basically it has a a, a, a Bitcoin wallet in, integrated into the into the Umbrella. And then mm-hmm. it has a hot wallet as well, which basically it automatically moves the, the balances between them. So if I have uh, 1 million sats in the Bitcoin wallet and I open a channel, I open a channel with you mm-hmm. for 1 million, Sats, Umbrella automatically moves the Sats from the Bitcoin wallet to the hot wallet, and it it creates the 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 channel between us. Very cool, very cool. Yeah, it's 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 amazing software. So we've um, been playing around for a while um, with different nodes and different distros. Um, initially, we ran Citadel. So Citadel, I think, is a fork of Umbrella. It is, um, yes, yes. Yeah, it was pretty cool. And um, yeah, setting it up was, uh, we got the Raspberry Pi 4s and yeah, set it up, synced up and I connected my, um, uh, what wallet was it? Uh, Samurai wallet. Pretty okay. easy to do and it's like, it's all working. So that, that was cool, except for the fact you have to run it on a Raspberry Pi, right? <laughs> like there's no there's no other way to, to run it. And if... There's actually a website that launched, I noticed, like that they've got linked on theirs, um, rpilocator.com. So it's like, because there's so few and far between, you can't find one that they've got like a, a, a list of places you can actually get them. 
But so what, what sort of attracted me to, to Umbral, uh, one, the fact that Ollie was running it and showing me all the cool stuff that you could do. Um, two, all the uh, like extra apps that you can run off there. So like the, um, not just the Bitcoin stuff, but like all the, the sort of self-sovereignty apps that you can run like pretty quickly. And it's a nice clean interface to do that. And I found that th those parts quite, quite simple. What we've run into is an issue with actually syncing Bitcoin core. So you kind of need to do that before you can do anything else with lightning or any of that. And we've tried, I think, so two NUCs, two separate NUCs with mm -hmm. um, two different SSDs, two external um, SSDs, so N.2 SSDs. Um, three different networks because I thought maybe it was my network that was like blocking it because it would get to like, you know, 2% of sync in the blockchain and then just fail. Um, so yeah, we're kind of stuck on that. Like I haven't, and we tried again yesterday on a friend's network and thought, oh, maybe it's like his, we'll have more success there. Same issue again. So I was going to pick your brain on what the hell we might be doing. Like we've, we've looked through a bunch of um, tutorials online and, and looked at um, people with, on the forums with a similar sort of issue, ran everything that they've done, but it, yeah, it doesn't seem to 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 work. So, yeah, do you have any idea what we could be doing wrong with Bitcoin Core? So, so Kirian, just to to verify, you are you are running uh, Citadel or Umbral on that? Umbral, uh, Umbral. So Umbral. Citadel, Citadel was fine. We've got that set up and running. Um, okay. On a Raspberry Pi, so okay. kind of. So I wanted, I specifically wanted to run Umbral and run that on like on all types of hardware, right? So like yes. the idea we'd have students coming in with like a laptop, whatever it is, and be able to yes. set it up and go. To test that, I've had two different NUCs with a bunch of different hardware and a bunch of networks, and I haven't been able to, so we haven't been able to sync the uh, yeah, Bitcoin core for some reason. And it's obviously something we're doing wrong. It's probably something real simple. But have you come across that at all? When you when you say so, I'm trying, I'm having a hard time understanding when you say no, NOX, NOX. A oh, NUC. So like it's a like a mini mini computer. So ah, NUC. The NUC. Okay, yeah. NUC. Okay, <laughs> your accent is uh, your accent plus my accent is is hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Yeah, I'm used to the accent from the US, not the accent from Australia or, Australia, or yeah. England. So, <laughs> yeah. um, all right. It's so, what one. I can do, what I can do is, I can share my screen and I can show my my current setup. And yeah, sure, awesome. It's my it's my my system. Um, you should sure have. have... Sure. Yes, you do. Yeah, I I can I can share here. Awesome. So we, you can see what I have. Everyone can see what I have in, in place here. Too so, many jobs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's because a lot, a lot going on, a lot going on. So if you see here, uh, this is a it's a it's a, it's a local IP address. Ooh, no, that's sorry. Here. Yep. Yep. Um, I want to take a note. Um, okay, so here is 192.168.0.10 mm -hmm. because my network, this is my home network, very simple. Uh, my home network is, um, it has, a, I have a router. Uh, the router connects to a modem that goes outside to the internet. Can you see this while I'm drawing? Yeah, yeah, perfect. Okay, so this is a router. This is the fiber. It's a fiber fiber um, converter. Uh, what's what sort of speeds are you getting? I'm getting about 200 megabits per second. Ah, nice. It's it's good. It's good speed. 200 megabits, 150. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then from there it goes. From there it goes to the different devices, right? So yeah. here is the here is a it's a Linux system. Just a normal laptop, and this laptop has Umbrel. Uh, it, it has uh, Ubuntu, and it has Docker and Docker Compose. Those two yeah, are requirements. You need Docker and Docker Compose. Okay, so when you install those those two, Docker and Docker Compose here, then you go to the Umbrel website, the GitHub, 
and we go we can do like like this i'm pretty pretty sure we installed docker didn't we ollie um yeah i think we installed everything with the ubuntu all the uh prerequisites mm -hmm. yeah and it's just this bitcoin seems to just hang and we're wondering if it's actually something to do with 22.04 uh, yeah, 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 maybe. That's it was the only thing we could think of because there was just Bitcoin hanging all the time. Process of screenshot. Yes, yeah, that's yeah. So we ran that. So so you go here and then you run this command. But yep. you run this command before running this command, you have to prepare a few things. So for example, let me bring a screen to show you the system now. We're going to go to my Linux system and how I have set it up. So you can awesome. give an idea, Oliver and, and Kieran. Yeah, awesome. Uh, not this one. Then hopefully we can get you running up and running Dora as well. <laughs> once we Once we figure it out. Uh, Dora is also, um, hi Dora. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, so I will connect to my, this is my system where I have running, if I, if I do Docker, Docker container LS, those are all the containers from Umbro. You can see them here. Yep, yep. And I also will recommend uh, later another tool to to maybe more user friendly than than using the command line interface. Uh, and then I and then uh, I configure I I connected an external drive to this machine for yes. the Bitcoin for the Bitcoin blockchain. So this command will show the different file systems I have set up in, in this Linux system, in this Linux machine. And this one, uh, the, the hard drive SDD is the hard drive that I assigned for Bitcoin. So simple, simple computer, install Linux, install Docker, install Docker Compose, install the uh, uh, connect the the hard drive if, if it's an external hard drive in my case it's an external hard drive and my hard drive is like a two terabytes total size but it's only using i'm only using it for the bitcoin blockchain um and then when i go in there we have here all the files that you download from the GitHub curl, the curl script, it would download all those files into, into, this, into this hard drive uh, by default. So these Docker Compose uh, YAML files are the files that say, is, is how Docker will find all this, the containers and it will install them here. That's, that's what it will do. Um, when, at the, at the initial installation. So after the installation is complete, you get all this. And then if you go to this directory where it says scripts, you have the start and you have the stop scripts. And when you run uh, start, it will, the first time it will download all the Docker containers and then it will start Umbrel. And then it will start syncing the, the blockchain with the container from Bitcoin D. So the problem that you're saying that in my in my system, I don't have any port, a special port open. All the, no. the, the router is no is, is, is blocking, my router is blocking all the non-standard ports, nothing special open, all all normal like totally fine. Uh, standard router and uh, home one of those home routers and uh, so if we go to umbrel to my umbrel system let me move this out of here so let's log in let's log in here 
So, so you would recommend doing, um, let's start stopping via SSH rather than via the GUI? Oh, I would show you the GUI as well. Okay, sure, sure. I'll, I'll that, that, that's, that's how we were, were doing it, just through the Bitcoin node uh, GUI starting to sync and then... Yeah, yeah, it's just Bitcoin node. It kind of just freezes up, it seems. So, right so you see I have a Bitcoin node here. That's yep, the yep. first application I installed when I, after I installed Umbro. So that one, you, you already, in my case, of course, it's already 100%. Sync, 100%. <laughs> yes. So again, my connection, uh, if we look, we can test it again. Today, right now, it's mid, almost midday, so it might be slower, but we can we can check. Yeah, Jay, it's really weird because um, I'm running an NUC here and a Pi, and I've got Umbra working, no problems. Yeah. You're, you're, yeah. We installed you're... Ubuntu first and mm -hmm. then just ran um, a couple of updates and then sold Umbral, Bitcoin Core only, um, nothing else. And then we'd get about maybe 2%, 1.5%. Mm -hmm. And then it, it would um, just disappear, basically, the numbers. That would give us any indication of it actually syncing anymore it wouldn't update and it seems to just keep resetting it was almost yeah. as if like the NUC was like going through power cycles and we don't know whether mm. it's just just to our NUC only or whether it's um like a general ubuntu thing because we well, yeah, i thought maybe the hardware but that's why i was like i swapped mm. it out for a, another another NUC with mm -hmm. different hardware as well and i still we still had the same issue but then like uh ollie's one's fine so yeah, it's really strange maybe it's just maybe i've just got maybe, bad luck <laughs> maybe maybe the issue you're talking the issue you are mentioning is sounds more like a hardware like a hardware issue possibly yeah yeah that's what we um, thought that's what I maybe too, but um sorry Joey, to interrupt but um yeah, i had a little i had the same thing happening um with my uh with citadel ironically at my house but not mm -hmm. with Umbral. And that's what made me go, okay, I'm going to try Umbral now. Like, I'm going to go back to Umbral. <laughs> Screw <laughs> Citadel. <laughs> and I thought, yep, it worked. <laughs> and then there was so much more stuff on the App Store as well now. I was just like amazed and blown back by the applications that Umbral has and now. It's pretty nuts. It's pretty Instead amazing. of just being a Bitcoin only node or a Lightning thing, it's actually self hosting. It's like a free. Tool. It's for all of us. It's, and it, oh, yeah. that was really cool. I thought, um, I really, really hats off to you for that. <laughs> is is it um what what hardware are you uh running for your your node? sure 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 uh this is the hardware i have it's a latitude laptop oh nice it's a dell very old very old yeah. laptop uh it has uh intel core i7 but the old one and fourth generation and 16 gig of ram perfect and maybe i just need to, to get an old laptop out and do it on that instead that might be the way to go that's so and, cool though so, so like yeah like like you said what, what i'm hoping we can do is create a, a walkthrough which you're helping do now which is awesome um for people with like you know for, for students with an old laptop as like a prerequisite bring this in we can get you started so this yeah this is perfect thank thanks so much yes and if we look at the applications here um uh, notice i don't have many applications because i i use this node as my production node this is a node that i only use for everyone in the world to connect to it and route payments of lightning I don't care about, I'm not concerned about getting yeah. fees of routing or those things. I don't, I'm not concerned about that. I'm more concerned about my, my routing now being online as much as possible. That's mm -hmm. what I'm most concerned on. So, so that's why I use, uh, so in the lightning node here, uh, I have, um, my, my sats and my channels are here. So all these channels names, we, people can find them in Ambos and 1ML. So it's, I don't think it's anything private here to share. 
So these yeah, are my. Let's say we're not we're not doxing anything, are we? <laughs> no, no. I think this is uh, it's just the the, the amount of uh, sats, but uh, and then you can find this also in Ambos. You can see all those details here. If you go to Ambos, you can see the amount of channel, the amount of uh, you know sats. So it's not in private. Yeah. Yep, yep. Um, and then obviously we I use also the tools to manage the channels, which is Thunder Hub. Uh, are you familiar with this tool, Oliver? Or yes. Um, yes, I've been using that a little bit, actually. Okay. Yeah, so I use that one for for opening opening channels, signing, signing sometimes uh, logins to different places, uh, to add peers. You can add peers. You can add open channels, close channels. Um, and then, obviously, the mempool. To follow but this mempool is the mempool in my in my node it's not a main pool on the internet so it's all private in my node yeah you can't trust the parties anymore not when you have your own <laughs> node <laughs> and then uh the only extra applications i add is this one uh elect elect trs is for when you know when you have if you want to connect a, a wallet yeah you it's can like use back end isn't it it's a it's like a backend server to connect uh, uh, another wallet like a Sparrow or other other type of wallets that can run in your in your desktop. It's like a hot wallet. It's not a it's not a cold cold wallet. Okay. Yeah. Yes, and Lightning Shell. I use this one uh, because Lightning Shell has some tools. In, like for example, one of them is called Balance of Satoshi. And that tool help you helps you to open balance channels in LND in the LND protocol. And Umbrel uses LND, so by default, so you can open channels like if I open a channel with Oliver, and we want to open a channel of ten million Sats, for example, I can send him the request, and he can accept the request. And trustless, we can open a channel of twenty million million uh, Sats. With 10, 10 million sats on my side, 10 million sats on his side, and it's balanced. It's completely liquidity in both ends. So people can, he, he can receive or send transactions right away. Um, and the write, writing the lining is, is similar to Thunder Hub, it's just to have a redundancy of the tools. Telescale is really good because Telescale is, is, it creates a VPN on your home. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it's actually it's based brilliant. it's based on wire on WireGuard. So if you have WireGuard, you don't need this, but this one is is pretty cool because it makes the connection to your to your mobile to connect to your node, and I manage my 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 node with the uh, with the phone as well. It's amazing, isn't it? I've I've, I've been rocking it for a while, and um, I've found it's so useful. Not even just for this, but like for all my devices. Um, that I need to connect to to say like I've got like Sonar set up, I can remote into that and just go boom. You, like you, you don't have to like VPN into anything; it just does it for you. Such a cool tool, so cool. Oh, yeah. thank you, Jay. Um, perhaps yeah. I can open a channel to your node. Is that cool? Yeah, that'd be awesome. Yes. Um. You, sorry, Olio. You you want to open a channel? Yeah, if I could to your node. Actually, uh, a million this, sets this or something. Is... This is what I want to do because um, yeah, sure. If maybe I have one more, more few seconds. K K yeah, of course, Kieran, of course. To... Take take as long as you need. Yeah, awesome. Uh, Kieran, so what I'm doing right now, uh, Oliver and Kieran, is uh, I have I've been running uh, LND for a long time, and the channels are pretty stable. It's pretty good. It, it works fine. It's stable. But I'm testing now another another implementation, which is core lining. And core lining is also for the lining network, so it's compatible. And yeah. right now I did install that one. Is that with Ride I the Lightning? I'm sorry? Is that with Ride the Lightning? I think that was a core lightning implementation uh, or something. Uh core lining is another implementation of, of the lightning network similar to LND. Uh, Lightning Network is a protocol, mm -hmm. and then yep. implementations we have Eclair, LND, 
core lining from Blockstream and things like that. So I have a new a new node, and I if you want to open a channel, I would prefer to open a channel with you on this new uh, node. Yeah, of course. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So the reason why I say that is because I just I just completed the installation of this one. Yeah, no. And, and the installation of this one is similar to Umbra, but um, instead of Docker, Docker Compose, you install it from an ISO, like uh, installing a Linux. It is a Linux operating system, actually. Oh, right. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I've used these guys as well. Yeah, so um, what they did, Star 9, what they did is they opened the open source and they they did very similar to what Umbrel does. Instead of running on their device only, on their hardware, like an ARM device, now we can download the ISO and we can install it in any any system we want. Oh, that's cool. That's so yes. cool. I didn't realize that. That's that's amazing. That is, that is pretty nice. So, so what hardware are you running that on? I know you were coming with that question, Kieran. So, <laughs> so I, I'm showing you now the hardware. So yeah. what I have is um I have a this one here. It's a virtual machine. And I assign eight CPUs and and eight, eight, eight gigabytes of RAM. Nice. But the hardware, the real hardware where I'm running this is this machine, which is pretty it's a new system I just bought and it's pretty good. It's an AMD. Uh, Ryzen 9 with a total of 64 gig, but of course I'm not putting everything to the to this system. I'm just I just adding, like I say, virtual memory, eight gigabytes of RAM, and eight CPUs. Yeah. So that's the that's this system. And I I also installed writing uh, the lining. Right, right, the line. Sorry, and then if we go here, let me log in here. Can you can you run uh, tail scale on start nine as well? Mm, and I I I don't think so, Kieran. Okay. But I'm looking for options. I think yeah. if we have WireGuard, possibly I'm I'm working on. It's, I just installed this very recently, so I don't know the the if we can run that scale yeah 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 I'll, I'll i'll um i'll rip this down as well because i've got two nux so i'll set one up with this yeah, and yeah, one with yeah. the other and we can we can play around with it that's cool that's... yes so you can see here i have some on chain uh sats so if if you're okay oliver we can connect uh yeah. and follow up offline and we can open a channel with this one i think it will be i will be using this one for also for more channels coming but uh, it's just that it's very new i don't yeah, have any channels good. open right now so we can we can talk on that offline yeah awesome. uh, and uh, yeah so this is the second node that will be running for production as well so it will be one umbra and one uh, core lining one lnd one lnd one core lining Oh, nice. nice. Yes. Yeah, so, if you have any other questions, I can I can show you. Yeah, yeah. Any other, so, any so uh, there's there's a couple for that, I suppose. Like the um with with Umbral, because I still want to do Umbral, and I'll I'm going to download Start Nine as well. Um, do you know? Does it have to run on Ubuntu? Can you do another Linux distribution to install Umbral? Um, you can do. You can do Debian for sure. Yep. You can or do like Debian. A, you can do Ubuntu. Yep. Or I like don't a, know. A lightweight mm -hmm. Ubuntu, like Lubuntu, Xubuntu, anything like that? I, th I think uh, they're based on Debian. So possibly will run. Uh, I know for sure that you can run it in Debian 11 and also Ubuntu 20 or Ubuntu 22 or 4. Okay. All right. Well, that, yeah, that kind of answers it. And my, my other question, and this is something I was looking online, I couldn't find any um, answers to, and it might be something, um, if it does work, might be easy for students to sort of spin up, but the Windows um, 
subsystem for Linux, so WSL. Um, are you, I, do you know if you're able to run it through that? Mm, that one I haven't tested here. Okay. I haven't <laughs> tested that. Yeah, I don't. I don't have a Windows. Actually, I do have one Windows virtual machine, but it's just for testing this one. I have one Windows here. All but right, that's right. for that's just for testing and stuff. Um, I haven't I haven't no, used the WSL for that. That's okay. Well, I'll, I'll, I might give it a go anyway and see if anything works, yeah. and I'll let you know. No. <laughs> um, that's that's so cool. So, so with Start Nine, um, what's the the setup process for that? So literally, just download an ISO, like use Rufus or something to. Uh yes, uh, like, like one of those tools that you can burn uh, burn the ISO into a into a USB and then plug it into a computer and then boot up. But in my case. I did it in a virtual machine. Yeah, yeah. So what I did is I downloaded the ISO here. You can see it here, embassy. Yep. Maybe it's a little bit small for reading, but it's this one here. No, no, that's, that's perfect, yeah. Um, and then from there, I I set up the, the virtual machine with the settings that they recommend. They recommend eight, gigabyte, eight gigabytes of RAM at least. So I put eight gigabytes of RAM and I added four CPUs and and then I, I I just boot the ISO and the installation is really 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 easy to go. They have, in my opinion, they have a better documentation than Umbro. Oh wow! The documentation is much much better. It's much better, but because core lining is, doesn't have as many uh, adoption as LMD. Yep. It, 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 it has uh, like uh, some tools that we, we have in LMD, we don't have them in Coreline. For example, Telescale, I know that it's not yet in in Coreline, in, in Embassy, for example, Embassy. Yep. It doesn't have anything to do with Coreline, but the Embassy system, I don't think that it has the the Telescale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, is, so is Core Lightning um, interoperable with um like other implementations or is it um so they use core lightning fill up a channel and you have to use core lightning as a protocol no, no. To no, no. that's also that's also what i thought uh, at the beginning yeah. but yeah. uh they they explained me we can open channels uh lnd with core lightning they can open channels ah, the protocol okay. is is eclair they all have to be compatible but the nice tools or the little extra tools, those will not be compatible. They might be only compatible with a specific implementation. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So like the yeah, the extra like um like cool little functions you can do on top of a specific like a, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like like for example, Thunderhub, uh the application Thunderhub, this one, we cannot install it in, in embassy. In core line, it doesn't have something that is equivalent to this one. They have the closest one is is right the lining, this one. Yes. So we can have this one works for core lining and it also works for for um for umbrella for L D. Right, right the lining here. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. So so with uh with um the channels, because you've obviously opened a fair few with a fair yes, few yes, nodes. Yes. Is yes. there a is there a minimum? Like, what's the smallest amount? Like the smallest channel. So say say I have like a group of students and we want to pair them up and say you guys are going to do a channel and like sort of mismatch between them, um, or crisscross between them. What's the like the minimum that they could sort of do to to open a channel? Do you reckon? Um, so this is a very good question, and I will answer the way because I want the Lightning network to be very stable and, mm. and and work the best. So for that, it's better to have larger channels because if I do a payment to someone and the channel is too small, then we the payment will not go through that. It, 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 you have to have a channel. For example, yeah. if the channel if the channel is uh, five hundred thousand sats. And I want to pay one million sats. It cannot go through there. 
Yes. So it, yes. it will have to search for another one. But obviously, some places they don't have enough SATs, so they need to open those channels like that. Um, yeah, I think there will be people that, like in your case, will be for a school for training for for education. I guess is 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 fine. Um, but for me, I prefer larger channels to uh, to to support more more customers, like daily yes. customers, daily people are using payments or things like that. Yeah, yeah. So so, but it would be just for like. Uh, educational purposes, learning yeah. purposes. I think it's um, maybe no limit, uh, Kieran, I think. So, okay, so we can just do a small... You can, you can try 10, 10 sat or 100 sat <laughs> or things like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'd be interesting to see, eh? so like with uh, yeah, small amounts, how small you can go and still support transactions through there. So that'd be, uh, yeah, worth doing. But that, that that's awesome. That answers so many so many questions. Thank, thank you so much. Um, but like uh, Kieran, for example, if we do, if we go here, and yeah. what is uh, Oliver? What is your, uh, your the name of your node? So I can add you as a peer just to do a test. So, to um, see. Uh, sorry, it's still using the default Umbral name. So okay. Um, I have to just copy that quickly. Okay. I wonder if I got mine. Hang on, I'll look at my Citadel. Uh, where am I? Uh, should I just paste it in the chat? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, there we go. It's my node ID. All right. I will search in Ambos for the ID, okay? Yep. And there's also one ml.com. Is that right? Yeah, one ml.com is also, you can see it here. You see your node? Yep, that's it. Okay. So what I will do is I will add your node as a Peer. When you add as a peer, it's not open channel. It's anything. It's just peering together. Just peering oh, okay. There. And then when I, when when I add you, you will see my node on your side as well on the peer list. So I will I will uh, copy this. Then I will go to Thunderhub, and this is kind of like the process, Kieran, of adding a a peer to to then open a channel. Yeah. Um, it's not necessary, but it's easier if you add it as a peer first. Gotcha. So, so I will add uh, Oliver. I I leave the type join and I leave the temporary as no. And I click add. <clears throat> what's what's the difference between those two, joined and separate? I don't know. <laughs> but I I always use the join yeah. uh, as a default and it's been working well but i i need to get into those deep concepts <laughs> that's all be, right uh, it will be important info overload half the time yeah, yeah. you see this you see this uh, sign here okay. yeah. yeah you're at it okay so now oliver's uh, node should appear in my list here which i think is here uh i think it's zero free ae oh this one yep that's it Okay, yeah, so he's connecting through Tor to the Tor because Umbra by default connects to with Tor. Nice. Um, so that's that's Oliver. So let's say I want to open a channel with Oliver. So now I go to channels and then I sorry, I go to home and then I click here in open. Let's see, uh, and then I manually, I normally do it manually. Mm -hmm. And I click open here, and then it's a new peer. Uh, no, because he's in my peer list. So uh, if I click node, uh, we, just it. Cool. we can look for him here. You see? Cool. It? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I click there, and then here we add the, the channel size. So I wonder if we can do like one, <laughs> one, one, one side, and it will, it will tell me like, no. Because maybe no enough. Uh, what about 10? What about 10 sats? <laughs> it's like 10. And then fee amount, uh, depending on the here, I always look. So it's one sat. So it's very good time to open channels. Um, and then you put that and then open the channel. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And then so so uh, Oliver would do the same on his end? or No, no, no. If, no. if, I, if I open the channel here on this yeah. side, 
Oliver will see my my channel opening with him, but the channel will look like this. When when I open the channel with him this yep. way, the channel will look something like this. Oh, so like this right. Okay. Right, right, right. It will be like all the liquidity will be on my side. Yeah. Gotcha. And on, on his side will be empty. Gotcha. Gotcha. That's, gotcha. that's why it's better to use the other tool that I was talking about, which is this one. Lightning Shell, which uses something called Balance of Satoshi. And that one has like a little, maybe next time I can do a, like, a, we can do like a Zoom more, more explanation because yeah, I, will, awesome. I, I, will, I will have to finish very soon, Kieran. Yeah, no, no, this has been fantastic. So do we actually, but this has been fantastic. Thank you so much for jumping in. And, 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 and with this one, you can you can select uh, Oliver will have 500,000 sat on his side, me or 500,000 on my side, and then we open it and then it's better because that way the channel will, will look something like like this one here. Aha. Nice. So it just like automatically this. balances as, as you'd imagine. Yeah, right. That's right. awesome. Yes. So and, that and, one that that one that you just created with Oli is that here now? Can we see that one? No, 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 it... no. I I didn't create it. I didn't. I did create it. Okay. Oh. No, no, no. Yeah. Be because yeah. I want to open the channel with Oliver from from this one. Sorry. Yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. And well, maybe maybe what we can do, Oliver, if you're okay, and for Kieran as well, we can prepare. The, uh, everything, how much we're going to open it for, and all that kind of de those yeah. details, and then we wait for the next meeting, and we can do it live. Perfect. That sounds like a great idea. Well, I'll need to install Start Nine. I think I'll do that tonight. <laughs> oh no, 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 no! Remember, for me, it's going to be this one. For Oliver, it's going to be Umbra. Yep, yep. If you and could sit down. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna do both, I think. because uh, yeah. I just want to see which uh which is easier for students to install. But I like the idea of downloading an ISO and being able to install that. It's very, very cool. I think that's um that's, I'm I'm surprised that Umbral hasn't done that. I thought that'd be like a go to maybe that's in the in the on the roadmap for them as well. They they have a they have something, you know, that it's called the they have this the Bitcoin machine oh, they have yeah. this and they sell it with umbra already and it's oh, that's up. right yes i forgot about these they yeah. look pretty cool i yeah. really like the look of them to be honest <laughs> very cool <laughs> yeah the um i love the little screen and stuff it's just it's just a pie inside yeah yeah it's small yeah, yeah. small but but I mean, it's good if you don't want to go through the imagine. You have to learn Linux. You have to learn Docker. You have to learn so many things. Nah, just that's, buy that's, it where the, then... that's where the fun is, right? <laughs> <laughs> we actually exactly. had the um, the Casa node. So I think I, I bought that. I think you bought that as well. Yeah, like, back in the day, it, was, it was like the, the first Lightning commercial. No, and then they just like stopped supporting it. And then that was it. <laughs> it's like, okay, <laughs> thanks, guys. Um, <laughs> But no, this, this has been awesome. Thank you so much, Jay. I think if we can do it next week, that'd be that'd be really worthwhile. I think, like for for people to learn from us to to do it as well, and then we can, yeah, get a bunch of people um, connecting with um, with their channels because that's that's what we wanted to do for ages, and we've just um, lacked someone like yourself to come and <laughs> show us what to do. So much appreciated. Yes, uh, thank you. And also, I also train myself when I when I when I look at this, like the question you asked me about join versus separate. Now I know I need to search about that to understand more about it. Yeah, yeah. But uh, but it's it's very good for me. And uh, next time, what I will do also, I can show you how from my phone I I manage my note mm. from the phone. Some that tips awesome. on that as well. Yeah, and, awesome. awesome. Yeah. And uh, cool. you know, I think I mentioned to you, Karen, I have a few videos uh, in my, I have a YouTube channel. I have a few yep. videos uh, that shows uh, some of the work I've been doing with Umbra. Oh, cool, cool, um, cool. Uh, I can share the, 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 oh, actually I can share it here in the screen. Yeah, yeah, just bring it up. <laughs> <laughs> so it's uh, this channel. 
I have I have only like a few few videos. Cool. But uh, you see, like uh, this one is basically configuring Umbrel with uh, with uh, Tailscale and the wallet, the Seals wa Seals wallet. Oh, very cool, very cool. And then this one is a quick a quick short video of how quickly connect uh, the Seals with the Seals with the Umbrel. But oh, and then I. Yep. Yes, I use this as my hot wallet for my phone. Ah, okay, cool, cool. And some some of them I have the step by step of installing Ubuntu, uh, installing Umbrel on on Ubuntu. This is actually how I install my system. That's why I create the videos. Ah, nice, nice. So, and yeah, That's so awesome. just cool. making some updates. But I've been super busy. I've like been super busy, so I haven't done more videos in a, in a while. So I have to create some. Since two months, I haven't created a video. So I have to, <laughs> well, yeah. you're welcome to join any uh, any week and um, yeah, run run through this stuff because it's so helpful to people. I think, particularly like you know, you, you kind of and you've probably gone through this as well, where you're like searching for stuff for hours and reading through documents, and you kind of feel like you're kind of alone. So I think creating community like this and yeah, being able to sort of share ideas is super, super important. Um, sure. Are you are you okay for me to publish this to the Bitcoin channel? Yeah, absolutely. 100%. Awesome. Awesome. I'll, yeah. um, I'll put that up today because I think there'll be a lot of people um, interested in this and we hopefully we can get as many people running their own nodes as possible. <laughs> yeah, maybe. And that's why I contact you because I, I like what you're doing. I like that the, the, the if you put together a course to to educate people about Bitcoin and the Lightning Network, I mean, I mean in, even if I can volunteer a few times or help in any way, I, I would like to do that. That's what I want to do with my YouTube channel as well. Awesome. Thank, thank you so much. This has been fantastic. Um, well, we might might leave it there then, and then we'll communicate during the week, set up our nodes, and then we'll do a live channel opening next week. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Um, before we go, what are we? Because we've got the stacks meeting coming up. Um, are you? Is, did anyone have any questions before we we jump out? I know uh, Gordon, you're there, and Karen, hi. Thanks for jumping in. Sorry, I didn't didn't realize you were there. <laughs> That's okay. Oh, no, sorry, right. I was late. I'm very sorry. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> It's, it's way above my pay rate so i've got to actually do the course and then i'll know what's going on so <laughs> i'm starting I, st I started with github this week so i'll get i'll master that first awesome nice. awesome very very cool dora did you have any questions no if you will have the like if you will set this up i am more than willing to try out that would be really nice awesome have you got a spare like old computer or laptop or something somewhere <laughs> not really oh we'll have to we'll have to get you on then <laughs> but, um... Jaya, Jaya, we we dora works with a university here so we're, we're looking at some implementation and see if we can get one of our universities to actually bring education on bitcoin specific so it's a we're doing some exploring to see what options there are and see if see if the university likes that so pretty exciting Very yeah nice. Yeah, I, I definitely would like to be part of these uh, meetings and and uh, like um, participate in the creation of this course. Maybe it can be integrated to the uni or something like that. Even if it's uh, just parts of it, it's yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like Professor Chang, she's really interested in creating like a a program that is focused on uh, blockchain completely. And I feel like that the Bitcoin part can be covered by by the, this tax community. Mm, yeah. Uh, because we are already working on a course, which is all about Bitcoin. <laughs> so nice, I feel like nice. that can be a really good direction that, that we actually offer maybe one or two classes that are focusing on Bitcoin. And mm. then that would be a collaboration with the school of bitcoin or something like that absolutely so that's why I'm like definitely be part of these um meetings and and like if i can try out something that would be probably the best <laughs> awesome awesome yeah i think uh i think the school of bitcoins course could be a very good prerequisite to um to you know building you know for postgrads building and and 
and research so, uh, around, around I, I am this. thinking of like like one class which sort of introduces people to the Bitcoin and then maybe a following class which focusing on maybe stacks and clarity and things like that, but, but which is like, you know, the project based something we are also aiming for. But mm -hmm. these are just like, you know, <laughs> starting ideas. <laughs> Yeah, I think uh, what I'm what I'm learning from these sessions is that you know the amount of opportunity to be developed around lightning and and all these different parts that are in there. You know, it's quite extensive until you. It's not until you dive under the hood as you can see what's actually going on. It's quite incredible. So credit to you, Jai. That's thank you. Yeah, very very cool. Thank, thank you very you. much. Thank well, you. we might might leave it there then, guys. And um, yeah, we'll reconvene next week, hopefully with some synced nodes that we can <laughs> connect to each other. <laughs> But um, thanks very much for joining everyone and I'll see whoever's joining the next meeting in five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jay. All right. Thank you, Thank you guys. And uh, yeah, I hope to join Bye. next time. And we, we keep in touch, Oliver, offline. Yeah, yeah sounds yeah. good. <laughs> Thank you. I think Kieran has my information. So please, Kieran, share my information with Oliver. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll create a group for us, group chat. Perfect. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, Bye. Thank you. Okay. See you. Bye-bye. Uh,